Hi again, here we are to talk about Parse and making a single page application with Parse. And in the last video, I set up the login and register forms here. And you can see here's my login and here's my register. And what I'd like to do now is I'd like to um, add a log out button and talk about how we can work with, um, you know, the state of our application, like whether someone's logged in and the interface of the application and get those two to kind of, you know, um, work together, right? Um, you know, for example, if you're logged in, maybe we don't want to show the register and the login button, but we want to show a log out button. And if you're not logged in, you know, if you're logged out and you're not logged in currently, then we don't want to show the logout button, but we want to offer the login and the register, right? So how, how do we go about doing that? Well, um, here's a, 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 an idea, okay? And this is, I think this is a really big idea, okay? And I'm going to use it with the logout button, and I haven't created the logout button yet. So let's, uh, let's do that right now, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy one of these links at the top in my nav, and I'll paste it here, and I'll change the name, the ID name to, to logout. And then I'll change the text also to logout, okay? So now if you recall from, from the first discussion, um, using the ID names here will navigate to um, an element on the page that is this ID name, and we currently don't have that. So what I'll do is I'll scroll to the bottom, and I'll make a new div, and I'm going to make it the same as these other ones right here. So maybe I'll even just copy this, right, and uh, close it off there like this, right? And this one, instead of register, we'll call it log out. Okay, so this is the log out page. Um, and maybe I'll even, I'll borrow this H1 right here. And I'll call it log out. So now, you know, if I... If I've done this, then our system is set up to where if I have a logout button and I click it, it's going to take me to the logout page, right? So our navigation is working fine, right? I can go to logout. But, oops, that's something else there. Let me hide that, right? Um, something else I was working on. But uh, anyway, so here I'm on the logout page. And what I want to do is I want to, you know, log you out when you come to this page. Okay, and we could tie our... JavaScript to the link, you know, we could create a click event on the link, and that would work fine, but it, it doesn't work well keeping our, you know, our, it doesn't go far to keeping our interface and the way that our system is working flexible, because it ties an event specifically to that button, and so if we ever change the button or we want to add another way to log out, then you know, we have to we have to deal with that button or create a new one in another event, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a slightly different approach here, right? So and and this is this is the big idea this time, okay? So what I want to do is I want our system to notify us when you change locations, okay? So anytime you change a location, no matter how you change the location, it's going to notify us that something has happened, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my JavaScript, I'm in main.js, and I'm looking at the show page function. And inside of show page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another line here, okay? And I'm going to use the jQuery selector to select the page ID that you're navigating to. So remember, we, we call show page, and we pass it the ID of the page that we want to go to, okay? And this will select that page. And what we're going to do is we're going to say trigger, okay? And trigger lets us send an event out to any of the listeners that are, that are registered to listen for an event. So in other words this element is going to trigger an event in our system, okay? So every page can trigger an event. We don't have to listen for the events for every page, right? So we can, only, we can register listeners for just the pages that we want to listen to, but every page will, 
you know, send out an event saying like, hey, you know, we've just, I've just displayed myself, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a name for the event. We have to give it a custom event name, and it has to be a name that's not already in use. So, you know, for example, hash change is already in use. Click, submit, or on click, um, you know, those are already in use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this, I'm going to call it page show. Okay, so this means that this page is going to show itself, okay? And there you go. And we can include more information with this if we want, but this is actually enough for right now. Okay, so we're going to say, you know, every time we show a new page, no matter how we did it, right, um, we're going to hide all the old pages, and then we're going to show the current, this page ID right here, the current page, and then that current page is an element in our program and it's that element is going to dispatch an event called page show okay it's key that we understand that it's this element that's dispatching the event because when we register um, event listeners for this event message they're only going to get it from the objects that are that they register with right so we'll register with let's say the register page or the login page or the garage sale page and those pages, the people that listen for events from those pages will get the event when those pages show up, right? So anyway, so there we go. And I'm going to go down a little bit lower on my page here. And we'll say listen for page show from logout, okay? So what I'll do here is I'll register an event listener with the logout page, okay? And we'll say on page show. So now when the logout page shows itself, it triggers a page show event, and this um, function right here is going to be listening for it. And what we'll do is we'll do the same thing we do with all the other um, event listeners, is we'll add a function here to listen for that event and it can receive an event object also so we can put event in here okay so let's let's go over that again um, I'm registering an event with the logout page okay and it's listening for this event name page show and when that page show event is triggered from logout then this function right here will be executed Okay, so, you know, just to test this, why don't we put a console log message in here, right? And we'll say, you know, um, logout show or, you know, something like this, right? How about that, right? And uh, let's give it a test. So we'll save it and we'll hide that and I'll go back here. And uh, let's go to the console. And I'll click on profile and nothing happens. And then I'll click on log in and no messages. But when I go to log out, it says log out page show. So now anytime we go to log out, right, anytime we go to this page, anytime our, our program is going to show this page of information, then our JavaScript can handle that right here. Um, you know, with, with the function that we've written. Okay. And you know, in parse, if you want to log out. Here, I'll write it in here. I'll say log out with parse. Okay? So to log out in parse, what you're going to do is you're going to say parse. You know, it's got to be uppercase P, uppercase U for user, dot log, and then you actually have to do the O as uppercase. So it has to be log out like that. Okay? And that will log us out. Okay? So there you go. That was pretty easy, right? Um, and, you know, if we test that... Um, you can see, like, I'll go to the logout page, and I'm logged out, but I can't really tell. My interface doesn't show it. So let's do a little bit more with this, right? So how do we get our interface to understand that when you're logged in and logged out? Okay, so I'm going to do one more thing. Let me add another function. and I'm, I'm going to put this one at the top to keep a little organized here. And I have these page navigation functions, and so... What I think I'll do is I'll make another function here called function. Let's do check log in status. Okay. And what this is going to do is it's going to 
check with Parse to see if we're logged in or not. And if we're logged in, it'll add a class to the body tag. Okay? So this is like another big concept. So the, the concept here of using trigger and and, and then a, an event listener to listen for an event that's triggered from an object is like a huge idea, right? We've got to practice with that, and we're going to work more with that. Um, the other huge idea here is that I'm going to use classes on the body tag to kind of alert my interface of the state of my application, okay? And for this case right here, what we'll do is we'll just say, hey, to check our login status with parse, we'll say if... And I'll write the syntax for the if statement. And then what we'll do is we'll say parse.user.current. Okay? So parse user current gives you the current user object. And if it doesn't return anything, it, it'll it'll give you a false. It'll, it'll be false, and we know that you're not logged in. So, you know, if we if we're here, then we know that you're logged in. And if you're here, we know that you're logged out. Right, and if you're here, we can say logged in, okay? And so if you're logged in, what we'll do is we'll, just, just to make things simple, because we could do a lot of complicated things here to update our interface, right? But it could be really, you know, that really gets us into this, you know, nasty web of, you know, you know, listeners listening for stuff that have to be added and removed and elements that need to be added or removed from the DOM or hidden in you know, class names that are added and removed, right? If we just put a class name on the body tag, then we can write with our style sheet a lot of rules to determine what gets displayed when in what's, you know, depending on the state of the application. And that that's a little bit tricky, but it's a lot easier to manage, I feel, for, for a lot of stuff. There's some things we'll still have to do with, strictly with JavaScript, but if we keep as much of the state of our application separate from what's going on with the logic of the application, or I shouldn't really say state, but the, the display of the application, if we keep that separate from the logic of the application, then we're better off. So the state of the, the the look of the application is going to be determined by our style sheet. The logic of the application all goes into this JavaScript, right? So what I'm going to do here is if you're logged in, I'll say body.addClass. And then we'll say, how about logged in? That's pretty obvious, right? So if the body class has logged in, then we know that you're logged in. And if the... Uh, if you're logged out, then um, we're going to remove class from the body tag, and the class we want to remove is logged in, right? So we'll remove the logged in class when you're not logged in. Okay, so let's save that, and uh, what we'll need to do is one more thing. So in order for this function to do its work, we need to call on it. So I'll put it here as a way to initialize our program. So initially when it runs, we'll call the function one time. And then I'm going to scroll down a little ways to the register function and parse. When you register a user account, if it's successful, which would be right here, okay, then it logs you in. So let's check the login status at that point and update our, our status, um, you know, by updating the class on the body tag. And then over here, when you log in, well, obviously, if you have a success on your log in, when you're when you're logging in, then um, we should update or check the login status again, right? Okay. And then when you log out, um, we should check the status one more time because now we want to update it to show that you're logged out, right? So there you go. So now we'll save all that, and um, and then we'll go back to our page here. And I'll refresh it, and luckily I don't have any errors there, right? And this time when we test, I'm going to keep my eye on the body tag here, okay? And I want to see the class name there. And so you can see, like, right now, actually, you know, right now it's not showing anything. It should say whether we're logged in or logged out, I think, right? Let's log in for a moment here. Let's do what? Uh, Oh, yeah, there we go. So I logged in, and then it shows me, you know, logged in, right? And then if I go to log out, it shows me logged out. So I have a little problem. There's something here where it's not 
calling on this the first time, right? So we got to make sure that it that when we check the login status, that it does it the very first time. So for some reason that wasn't happening. Um, I'll check that in a minute, but it, I I think that it's working, right? So so here you can see um, maybe I maybe I should start from the root level of the page. Yeah, I don't I don't know why it's not doing it the first try there, but uh, I'll log out. Let me let me log in again here, right? I'll do test and test. And yeah, there I'm logged in. And then if I click log out, it removes the, the logged out class, right? Maybe I was logged out when I refreshed, right? So then it wouldn't show anything. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I think that's correct. So it's it's showing us the, the state here. Now, how can we use that to... Um, to manage our interface, right? Because when we're logged out, I don't want to see the logout button, right? But I want to see the register and the login button, right? So what I'll do is I'll go to my to my my files here, and I want to go to my style sheet, okay? And I'm using the SAS styles right now, so I'm going to write this in style.scss, right? And what I'll do is I'll add a few styles down here at the bottom. And I'll say, you know, uh, hide for logged in. Okay. So, uh, um, how about log in, log out, right? So, if the body tag has a style, we can say body dot um, logged in, right? And so this says like the body tag must have the logged in class. And if I put a space here, anything following it would be anywhere on my page, <clears throat> a, a descendant of the body tag, right? <clears throat> so anything that's a descendant of the body tag, if it has the class hide if logged in, okay, do you like that? It's very descriptive, right? Um, so it could be any class name really, right? So I'm going to say, hey, you know, hide if logged in. Okay, so if you're hidden when we're logged in, then we're going to say display none. Okay, and over here, um, I'm going to make another style, right? And this one, maybe we want to do something where, um, actually, well, let's, let's test this one first, right, just to make sure, and then we'll, we'll make another one for things that are, are, you know, should be hidden when we're not logged in, right? So, um, so we'll save this, right? And, um, and then we'll, uh, we'll go back to our index HTML, and when we're logged in, we don't want to see the, the, the register and the login button right so I'll find those guys up here and um, you can see that the register and the login button are right here and what I'll do is I'll give them a class name I'll say you are gonna be hide if logged in and then uh, maybe I'll copy it and I'll paste it here like this, right? So, so these two things are supposed to be hidden when we're logged in. So we'll save that, and then we'll uh, refresh. And I'm gonna log out and then log in again. Oh, and there we go. And now you can see now that the body tag has the logged in class, then the register and the login links are missing because the style sheet is hiding them. They're, they're actually, you know, they're, they're still there. They're just display none, right? So anyway, so there's a couple big ideas. Um, this video is getting kind of long. I'm going to come back and we're going to talk more about this, right, um, in another video. But anyway, I hope that gives you some really good ideas and thanks for watching.